Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm Christina. And we're the McMillan Express. And today we're going to talk to you about how to plan for extended travel in your RV. So extended travel in an RV is a multi-month trip. It's a seasonal trip. For instance, if you're traveling during peak season or shoulder season, it's one season, or it could be full-time RVing. Being on the road for an extended period of time does come with its challenges, especially being away from friends and family. The great thing is, is you're going to meet lots of people on the road. A lot of people with the same common interests that you have with RVing and the RV community is great. Planning is very important because you want to make sure that you have a dedicated route that you're going to take. So you're not wasting time, you're not wasting gas because that will take money, obviously when you're traveling, so you want to conserve on that as much as possible. So there's a couple of different places that you can stay at when you're planning your RV trip. You can choose to do the RV style resorts, which has all the amenities and all the fancy pools. You can stay at a more of a traditional campground, which is kind of like a more of a state park or a national park. And you can also do dry camping or boondocking. Always have multiple backup plans because weather is always a issue or can be an issue, especially when you're traveling to different sections of United States. You have to have backup plans. If you have a flat tire, you have to have a jack. If you have the capability of having roadside assistance, that's super important. You are going to come across areas that you may not have cell phone signal to call whoever your roadside assistance is. So making sure that you have a plan B, that you can do it yourself, that you're capable of doing it yourself, and you have the proper tools to do it is really important. But one main thing to remember is to take your time. You don't have to rush it. It's always going to be there. You want to make sure that you do it right. Knowing your route, knowing what service stations are along the way, RV repair shops, mechanics, all those things are super important. We take advantage of AAA, which is something that's great to have, especially for full-timers or anybody for that matter that travels. So if you do break down, you can always have someone come and tow you. Staying connected is really as simple as just having a hotspot of some kind. We like to use a few different types of service just to make sure we have signal when we're in different locations in case one service carrier doesn't have signal in a location, we have backups. So when we are working remotely from the road, we want to make sure that we have proper cellular coverage to utilize our mobile hotspot because we do a lot of Zoom calls, Zoom meetings, and FaceTime as well. When we go on a long trip, we only bring the necessities. There's not a whole lot of room for anything that's not a necessity. Now, necessities are also creature comforts. So things that you like having in a regular house, you're gonna wanna bring those with you. Planning and managing finances on the road. The biggest thing is, is making sure that you have a proper savings account for when things do go wrong and that you stick to a budget, that you know how much you wanna spend every month on different things work camping opportunities across the country it gives you an opportunity to work for a season. A season can consist of two months, three months, six months. What we do is we are lucky enough to be Florida residents and we have a lot of families. So most of our mail is handled by our family and they get us whatever important information that we need through general delivery in whatever town we happen to be in. When planning an extended RV trip, anything can happen. So here are some things that you should keep on hand pressure valve on your hose, surge protector, tire pressure monitor, gauge, fire extinguisher, chocks for wheels, treatment for tanks, basic toolkit, hitch lock, propane stove, extra gas, and fuel. Basic maintenance things to know ahead of time. Changing a tire, checking and replacing filters, knowing basic electrical fuses and what they power, how to clear or fix blocked hoses, fixing seals and cracks, on roofs and windows. We hope you found these tips helpful. And for more information, go to ThorIndustries.com. We're the McMillans, and we'll see you on the road.